back here in the woods. Got the timber jack, the knuckle boom, and the uh, log timber jack log jack over skitter. Here's the tailings pile from the logs that they've been cutting out. I don't know who needs some firewood, but uh, there's some mighty big pieces here. These ain't little by any means. They ain't little. They make some pretty nice stumps for something. Big old stumps. It looks like a lot of good board feet still left in those. And some of them anyways. Dad come back here and when they were running running this thing the other the last week week before whatever it was I ain't been back in here since uh since they got going again um I think they took a load or two out of here they cut what they do is they come in here and they cut for a day cut for a day or whatever and then they come back and uh haul it over here and chop it up and load it on the truck. Get one truck load at a time. Just, you know, take them out of here. I don't even know where they're going, how much they're getting for them or anything else right now. Daddy. Couldn't tell you. But there's the, here's your big knuckle boom. They took that thing back to the farm um, throughout the winter took it back to the farm so they could scrap a combine with it um pick it up take it apart and everything scrapped out a combine with it everybody around here buys these combines well they catch on fire well these old boys here they done collected i don't know how many different combines from somebody's combine get catching on fire insurance will pay the, pay the combine out and uh, these old boys would come collect up the remnants of it, take them back and scrap them out um, when they get time. And then, uh, so every one of them combines from everybody that was getting out of the combine in operation turned around and uh, basically they took over all the combine all the custom harvesting Daddy. for all them people Daddy. and uh, a bunch of people done done that here lately uh, you know tired of combines catching fire good morning y'all this is saturday i don't know what the day of the week of this i'll tell you later we are loaded up with some junk to go to the auction and uh, we're going to take it up the road, see if we can get rid of it, auction this next week, and uh, we'll be ready to, we got to come back and get some more stuff after this, so catch y'all later. Well, we brought those two up here, the old Case 222 and the uh, Montgomery Wards. Maybe somebody will want them. All right, we got some air tanks that we brought. This camper shell. This other camper shell. Been sitting around forever. A snow plow hitch fit to forward. Some other brackets. This little truck. Bicycle. Chains. Jeep bumper. Lawnmower. Air compressors chainsaw cart some of this stuff was Chris's the racks the boxes the saws the scots I know that stuff was Chris's I'm not sure what else uh, maybe the rest of this whatever that thing is it's bicycles chairs grill lawnmowers I think all that belongs to Chris too a bunch of stuff we gotta get rid of here.
and there's more of it. We just didn't have time yet. Well, we just loaded that wagon, and I forgot the video. But anyway, we're picking this flail mower up. We're gonna go sit it out here with the rest of the uh, useless stuff we don't do nothing with. And we might end up sending this off, send this off to the auction too. But we're not gonna do it today. So right now we're just getting it out of the middle of the yard. There's a scraper blade back there I'm gonna go get too. That brand new gate opener that I that we, we had, it's been about five years in the making. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. He, he, he done mastered the, the hooking and unhooking of wire. Come on, get on here, let's go. Now we just gotta master him on the gates. Do a little cow feeding. Come here and scoop up the hay bale. to be more trouble than it's worth we can't get it out of there it won't budge it's got trees growing up in it yes but like i can't even pick it up i can't pick it up with a loader at all they gonna win out here is terrible y'all all right so why are you videoing me Get 
much closer it gets bigger. It goes back and gets smaller. Been struggling with this tank to try to figure out how to load it and it's not working good so we came up with the idea of winching it onto the trailer forward because it does not want to climb it's just sits too low to the ground it's dragging on the ground i don't know we might end up just taking it to scrap yard i don't know what we're doing here it just won't go up there. And we can't pick it up there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. It's going. Once it gets up there, it'll go, but it's dragging on the ground back there, trying to make that angle. But it's a flat tire. No, not now. It was dragging a minute ago, trying to make that angle. They probably flipped the whole thing over backwards. I don't know how they're going to get it off this trailer. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure something out. Hey, it's turning, Chris. Turning, Stop! It's gonna fall off the it, need, it needs to go your direction. Right. Hold up. Saturday? I don't know, was this about the 14th of April? Of course, I'm on the wrong side here in the sun. We got two lady mechanics over here working. I just looked for a wrench. I didn't see one. There's a roll of wrenches. There's no half inch one in there. So. Yeah. 
Well, half inches and half inch wrenches, nine sixteenths are the ones that always disappears. How are we going to get on right. now? Think we got it all? The women are over here complaining because I don't video them while they're working. There's the women over here cleaning the bird nest off the top of the manifold on the Super A so that we can drive it back to the other farm. There's a nice bird nest on top of her. Well, the Super A started, but the bulldozer didn't. So we pulled the batteries on it. We're gonna go get them charged. And uh, I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna get the batteries charged and uh, put them back in there, see what happens. We're getting stuff done around here, y'all. Even if it ain't what we were intending to do today. We're getting stuff done. That's all that matters, really. We still need to do something with all this. But there ain't a whole lot of items in there that you just get rid of. A bunch of cow panel wires, don't need them all. If anybody needed some of those, we got like 40. Got some extra hay spears. At least one extra bush hog. You take this bush hog and this other one over here under the tree because they're still good. That red one's all beat up. Clean up the junk under there. I moved this hay feeder, uh, this wagon out of the way so we can get to that tank. Still got a few hay bales there to get rid of. We got Jordan leading the way. She ain't never drove that tractor. And it's probably the second tractor she's ever driven. But she's on there by herself this time. So we're going nice and slow. Jordan's learning how to drive the A. Jordan got the throttle wound out in third gear. She's still coming though. She's getting here. Like the long assembly line of people coming back here. <laughs> and Jordan and Emily and Harvester and Dad and Chris bringing up the rear. Jordan done. I, I take it back. I said the second time. That's the third time she's ever driven a tractor. Um, and she doesn't know all that stuff, so. It's about time she learns how to drive a tractor. Everybody got to know how to drive a tractor. Emily, Emily knows a little bit about driving tractors. She's she's driven quite a few of them. She raked the many, she raked the many acres of hay. But she's still new on some of them. But anyways, we just need to get Emily back on the pulling tractor again. I don't know what happened with that. Taking her sweet time, getting it on, getting it on. I hope y'all like and subscribing. I tell you what, we got like seven, seven or eight new subscribers in this last week. It's pretty awesome. We're at uh, like 900 something now. We're almost to a thousand, but we're gonna need y'all to keep on keeping on because we're not gonna make it if we don't. Thanks for watching.